Hi everyone, Gavin Townsend here, and it's been a long day. Just been to the gym, and I've had eight appointments uh, from 8 a.m. this morning. Yesterday I had 11 appointments, and tomorrow I've got a similar day as yesterday. So that's probably the equivalent to a normal person's working week in three days. My work culture is that I work from the moment I wake up till I go to bed pretty much, uh, Monday to Friday, and I do a bit of a half day Saturday and relax a bit on a Sunday. Um, but I've pretty much worked seven days a week um, my, my entire working career. Um, most people ask me what do I do? Uh, my main work for the last 13, almost 14 years has been a personal trainer helping people. It's my main work. I am diverse in other things. I've got a couple of clothing businesses and a shop and I DJ occasionally. I do what I want to do alongside my core work and I really enjoy what I do. And there's nothing better than someone turning around to you saying, Gav, you've really helped me improve my health. Uh, you've improved my life as a result of your guidance. And I get tagged in most days and most weeks with different transformations. And it's great seeing people come into the shop and um, who I haven't seen for a while or walking past people in the street or going to the same gym as I go to and um, talking about their experiences and their changes. So this video, I'm just gonna be very brief, straight to the point, and it's just talking from experience. So for the last 14 years, I've seen a lot of changes in our culture in Western society. I'm 32 at the end of this year. I know I don't look it, but I'm 32 at the end of the year. And when I look back at when I was at school, uh, we had things like dial-up internet, we also, had just discovered mobile phones, which were pretty much like bricks. Um, we used chalkboards, believe it or not, and then we finally had whiteboards uh, at schools. We also relied more on our physical bodies to get to destinations, and, and also we didn't text our friends so much. We picked up the phone and we spoke to them. We didn't look at social media every five minutes because it just didn't exist at the time. So imagine a world without social media, uh, without text messaging, with dial-up internet, and um, actually communicating with people on face-to-face. -face. Yes, this is something that we used to do um, in Western society, but unfortunately now today, uh, people are living more in isolation than ever. So I'm just gonna share with you some general uh, observations uh, right now, which is happening in today's society and how I generally see things um, happening over the next 10 years. So, as of recently, I've seen, uh, we've got the birth of Alexa, which is by Amazon, which as a, technolog as a technological uh, advancement, it's great, but it's gonna make us more lazy. Uh, why is that? Well, it's simple, I watched an advert the other day, and I believe that you can now switch your lights off, change your channel on TV, turn your fireplace on, uh, to get the vacuum moving, um, all from asking Alexa to do it for you. So, I've talked about this in previous videos that technology is making us uh, more lazy as a culture. It's good on one hand, but it's eliminating physical movement. And where, when I was, when I was in my younger years, and like now, I'm, I'm as active as any, as, uh, as any time in my history. Um, I'm seeing more and more people become more sedentary, uh, more sugar overloaded, uh, and ironically, we've never had so much health and fitness awareness uh, in the UK today and in Western culture, but we've also, uh, we've never been so unhealthy. So, uh, more junk food, takeaways, um, People are, people are, everyone's got a kitchen, let's be honest, but not everyone uses it. More people are more reluctant to cooking healthy foods now. Um, and then in many cases are more likely to go out for a meal or order a takeaway or go to a drive through So people are more sedentary and also um, looking at the likes of quick food alternatives. So you're not actually monitoring 
the food that you're eating and you're not looking at the sugars and the, the bad fats and the manufacturing of the foods. In many cases, it's just, I'm hungry, let's feed ourselves. I've worked with a lot of professional athletes and athletes uh, fuel themselves and never experience hunger. Most people in society now I see are always um, eating when they're hungry, which is not good for the system. And again, I've seen these changes in the likes of uh, technology. Uh, I worked with a school last year and I worked with about uh, 20 girls and they were about 14, 15 years of age. And the average girl admitted that they spent about four hours on their phones, obviously glued social media. I recognized that they were looking at Snapchat more and looking at the likes of Instagram uh, um, and not so much Facebook. So if you break it down, for, the likes of Snapchat is quick engagement, it's filtering, it's, it's not a true uh, depiction of how we look and um, we're obviously getting more and more glued to uh, sharing um, our good sides rather than what's actually really happening in our lives and I've noticed with a lot of people now and I've experienced it through uh, past relationships with also um, f uh, friends and younger people especially uh, are so heavily glued on to the last and uh, every um, photo upload from the latest Instagram star and they're not they're not sure too much about uh, how real is that photo and in many cases photos are edited uh, for the benefit of the um, advertiser so let's be honest you're not going to share yourself in a bad light I mean I've just come from the gym a little bit sweaty uh, my hair's not looking that great and the light's not fantastic but this is a transparent video non edited so I'm just sharing my sharing myself in a transparent manner which I feel feels really important because there's a lot of fake um, social media stars out there who will spend as much time editing their photos as they will be taking them so again we look people are, young people especially are disillusioned by what uh, body image should be uh, now so we've got a uh, an obesity crisis, people are getting uh, more sedentary, less active, more sugar overloaded, and yet they're looking at social media all the time. They're glued to their tablet devices, they're looking at um, what their body shape in their mind should now look like, and they're comparing themselves to these social media stars. I had a girl recently who's five foot six, trying to compare her body to that of a Latino girl who's five foot two. I'm sorry, but if you're a Caucasian, five foot six, slim, slender um, shape, you're not going to find it easy to have the same um, body shape as someone who is of a different ethnic descent and also who's a lot shorter than you. And again, what's now happening is because so many people are glued to social media, it's creating depression um, within younger people. Uh, it's causing mental instability uh, within a lot of individuals and again as technology is um, progressing and evolving and people are becoming more um, glued to their phones and like I say with these girls last year the average girls admitting that they're spending four hours on their phone a day and rather than communicating with each other on a face-to-face -face, like I do every day today I've spoken to about 20 people easily through my shop and through one-to-one -one training, which is great. I get to see people on face-to-face. -face. But when I see a lot of people generally in society, uh, people who work behind computers all day long or in IT or, uh, like I say, these students, people are becoming very lonely uh, because they're not communicating like we once were. So what are my projections for the next 10 years? For some people who recognise the way things are changing, the older generations over the age of 30, they will see a huge ch shift change in society, the dynamics in which we're living. And like myself, I like to be a bit old school. Old school in the sense that I like to communicate with people on face to face and I also like to um, speak to people more rather than texting or 
and I can read through the, the social media world and yeah, that's fake, yeah, that's fake. And rather than looking at fancy destinations on my phone and thinking, oh, I wish I could go there, I'd actually go there and experience it for myself. And over the next decade, I can see that obesity trends are gonna carry on increasing. I can, I can see from openly speaking to a lot of people working in mental health, uh, I've got clients who work in mental health, I've got friends who do so as well. Again, I'm gonna see in clients uh, an incline in uh, mental health issues, which could be um, helped by not living on social media so much, by being a bit fitter. Um, obviously, the likes of depression can be um, associated to hormone imbalances. So I'm not gonna act like I'm an expert in that field because I've been crucified in the past by talking about it. But when I see that the likes of suicide rate in both male and females have gone up, I feel that I've got a social responsibility to discuss and openly talk about these subjects. So again, obesity is gonna be on an increase because people are becoming more lazy, relying on technology, um, being less active. And again, ironically, we've never had so much health and fitness awareness, yet we're less active than ever as a Western society. Uh, again, the likes of uh, mental health is gonna be on a, an increase as well. And I've done some research in recent months and I've identified that there's more single people living by themselves than ever before. There's more single parents living by themselves than ever before. The average relationship used to last around 15 years and from recent polls and doing some observations, the average relationship lasts two years. And just going from experience, just because somebody looks amazing online and uh, because their relationship looks fantastic online doesn't actually mean that they're in a happy relationship. I know I'm talking from experience and I see it all the time. I see, oh yes, we're having an amazing time and this, that and the other. So why do you need to share it online? Why can't you actually experience it together? And again, we're gonna see dynamics in relationships, interpersonal relationships, uh, a whole host of um, issues occurring over the next 10 years and again um, by, by openly talking about these subjects with clients, with sharing this on the likes of YouTube and Facebook, if it has a positive impact on a few people's lives then great. So my best advice for most people is try and be more active, be more social, speak to people on a face to face. Um, try and limit your social um, media engagement. Try not to get too negative, uh, too much negativity in your life from listening to the news and being distracted by what someone does who you don't even know online. Um, we've all done it. We get glued for ages and next minute you know half an hour's gone and you could have done something productive with your life. Uh, in recent months I've started to read more than ever. Um, of an evening I'm reading and I'm also researching. I'm, I'm doing more personal development than ever. So rather than just focusing on the, the muscles all the time, I'm focusing on my mindset more so than ever. So again, there's some good tips for you. And like I say, this is just uh, some experiences that I'm, I'm prepared to share. And this is a video all about the reasons why I feel that um, people are becoming more fat and lazy as a result of uh, technology. So if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Facebook as well. I have been a personal trainer for almost 14 years now. Been into fitness my entire life, so probably about 27 years now. I've been into different types of sport and activities, so it's who I am, it's what I'm about and I'm not just one of these fitness guys who just started last week. It's something that's part of me. It's been part of me for a long time. I'm Gavin Townsend. Make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching.